In the quiet, picturesque town of Oak Ridge, nestled amidst rolling hills and winding streams, lived a retiree named William. With his silver hair and the lines etched by decades of experience on his face, William might have seemed like the typical image of a peaceful retiree. But behind that calm exterior, a fire of ambition and creativity burned brightly. William had spent the majority of his life working in corporate offices, crunching numbers and meeting deadlines. His career had been successful, and he had provided well for his family, but it had always left him yearning for something more. Something he had set aside for the demands of work. Something that had always been his true passion. Writing. As a young man, William had dreamed of becoming a writer. He would spend hours immersed in books, poetry, and crafting stories. Words were his refuge, his sanctuary, and his joy. However, the responsibilities of adulthood had led him down a different path, one that seemed practical and secure but left his soul unfulfilled. Retirement marked the beginning of a new chapter for William. It was a chance to explore the uncharted territories of his passion. Most would see retirement as a time to relax, play golf, or travel, but William saw it as an opportunity to resurrect his long-lost dream. One crisp autumn morning, as the leaves rustled in the gentle breeze, William made a pivotal decision. He decided to start a business, a bookstore, but not just any bookstore. It would be a haven for readers, a place where the love for books and literature would thrive, and it would serve as a platform for his own writing journey. With the support of his wife, Sarah, and his children, William rented a small, charming storefront in the heart of Oak Ridge, he named it The Literary Haven, a name that reflected his vision. The store was adorned with oak bookshelves, comfortable reading nooks, and a cozy fireplace. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafted through the air and the sound of soft jazz filled the space. But The Literary Haven was more than just a bookstore. It was a testament to defying the conventional wisdom that entrepreneurship was reserved for the young. William had no business background, no formal training in retail, and no experience running a business. But he had something more potent, passion and a lifetime of knowledge in the world of literature. The first few months were challenging. Foot traffic was slow and e-books and online giants loomed as formidable competitors. But William's determination and love for his craft fueled his persistence. He began hosting book clubs, writing workshops, and open mic nights. He engaged with the local community and cultivated relationships with customers. The store became a hub for authors, aspiring writers, and book enthusiasts. Word of the charming bookstore with a passionate owner quickly spread throughout Oak Ridge. Customers praised the personal touch William added to each recommendation and the genuine love he had for every book on the shelves. The literary haven became a sanctuary for those who yearned for a space where literature thrived and where stories were celebrated. William's own writing journey saw a resurgence. He wrote short stories, poetry, and essays. His first book, Late Blooms, Tales of Rediscovered Passions, was a collection of stories about people who had found their true callings later in life. It was a reflection of his own journey and an inspiration to others. The store's success was not solely based on the sale of books. It was a testament to the human spirit and the power of chasing one's passion. The literary haven was a place where dreams were nurtured, where the love for books was celebrated, and where age was not a barrier to starting anew. William's story began to attract attention beyond the borders of Oak Ridge. Newspapers and magazines ran features on the late-life entrepreneur who had breathed life into a small-town bookstore. His story resonated with people of all ages, reminding them that it's never too late to pursue a lifelong dream. One summer, a young woman named Lily walked into the literary haven. She had a dream of becoming a writer but had put it aside to pursue a more stable career. William saw the same spark in her eyes that had driven him to start his business. He encouraged her to follow her passion, to write, and to never give up on her dreams. 
Lily left the store that day with a renewed sense of purpose. Years passed, and the literary haven continued to thrive. William's bookstore had become a cornerstone of Oak Ridge, a place where people gathered not just to buy books, but to celebrate the written word. As he looked around the cozy store one evening, filled with customers reading, writing, and discussing literature, he couldn't help but feel a profound sense of fulfillment. The store had allowed him to live his lifelong passion for writing and share that love with others. It had also rekindled the creativity and enthusiasm that often lay dormant in the later years of life. As the pages of his own story turned, he had become an inspiration, not just as an entrepreneur, but as a living testament to the enduring power of passion and the human spirit. The literary haven was more than just a business. It was a beacon of hope, a place where dreams took flight and where the love for literature transcended generations. William had proven that age should never be a hindrance to pursuing one's passion. Life's greatest adventures could happen in the later chapters, and every individual had the power to write their own story. As the sun set over Oak Ridge, casting a warm golden glow over the literary haven, William knew that he had embarked on a journey that would continue to inspire, to ignite passions, and to prove that it's never too late to chase your dreams. Thank you for watching this inspiring story. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming stories about senior life. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to share more incredible stories with you.